Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I say somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself. Mm -hmm. And say, she finna bring it tonight. Well, we gonna jump right into it. Because that's how we do it over here. Somebody say so, so. Somebody say so, so. Can you talk a little bit about talesmen? What is a talesman? Well, I'm going to break it down. A talesman is a small omnibus or object that has magical powers. A talesman is an object that has meaning. It has meaning that symbolizes something. The word talesman comes from the Arabic word talisman and also the Greek word telling him which both means initiation into the mysteries. I want to say this. We got talesmen today. I said we got talesmen today, but most folks don't even know that they call talesmen. Look at the uh, Celtic basketball uh, team logo. What you see? What you see on the logo? The four-leaf clover. Everybody know what the four-leaf clover represents? Good luck. We didn't even know they was talesmen. Oh, I just heard about it back in the day that we used these for good luck. Well, here it is. So I'm going to break it down tonight. So I'm going to tell you what these talesmen are. What to do with this shit. Now I want to say this. Wear the cross. Most Christians, they wear what? The cross. Some people don't even know why they wearing this shit. Some people do know why they're wearing it. Well, I want you to know that the cross, I'm going to break it down. It's a symbol to some folks that Jesus paid for their sins or died for their sins. So they'll wear this cross around their neck to represent, oh, he done died for my sins. I'm giving them thanks. Some folks, they wear a cross around their neck for protection. They feel like, oh, well, Jesus died for my sin, so he protect me. So they'll put this cross on a gold chain and wear it across their fucking neck. I'm trying to break it down tonight. I said I'm trying to break it down tonight. You go in some folk houses. I said you go in most folk houses. Most folk apartment. What you see? Some people got horseshoes above they, they motherfucker dough. They got horseshoes in there. An iron horseshoe. I'm coming to tell you the shit work. Got an iron horseshoe hung above they dough. Well, what is the, the iron horseshoe? What do that mean? An iron horseshoe, when you hang it above your door, that represents good luck. Go read the story, St. Dunstein. St. Dunstein. Go read that story. And use the law of correspondence. I might, I might come back on here. I said I might come back and give y'all this ritual right here. But that horseshoe, an iron horseshoe, hang that shit above your dough. Works motherfucking miracles. Hello somebody. Got to know how to work this shit. I know almost everybody. They done heard of this one right here. A motherfucker what? A rabbit foot. Let's talk about it. I said, let's talk about it. A rabbit foot. Folk walk around all day with the motherfucking rabbit foot. This my lucky charm right here. Okay? The rabbit foot was carried for keeping away harm. And most of these things were, get, were, were, were made off of uh, stories of old times. Go read the story of uh, Old Breer Rabbit. Go read that story. And y'all see what the, the rabbit foot was chose for. Why they chose the rabbit. But it's originally made for protection. Now we all done heard about the, the black cat. Y'all see it? The black cat. Oh, I, oh, that's evil, the black cat. Oh, if it walk across your path. Ha! Huh, that's a lie. Believe the opposite of what you heard. The black cat is associated with the goddess Baset. 
Okay? Black cats are known as magicians' cats. They actually represent fucker good luck. Shit, y'all better feed them black cats. Y'all see a motherfucking black cat? Go on ahead and give it some food. Because that motherfucker send you some blessings. Some folks, they carry a picture of the motherfucking black cat in their wallet. They carry it around in their wallet. I said I'm breaking it down tonight. So they can attract them some good luck. So we got to understand how to use these things. We got to go back. I'm not telling you to be childish. But we got to go back and know how to use our childlike mind. Okay? Use your childlike mind. Somebody say, well, well what can you make with talismans? Well, what can, what can you make them for? Shit. You can make talismans for any damn thing. Some folks say I goes to this grocery store. I can't never find no motherfucking parking spot. All right, make you a talesman. Somebody say I need more money. Make you a talesman. Somebody say I need to find a job. Make you a talesman. Somebody say I need to find love. Make you a talesman. Okay, but you must understand. I said you must understand how to use the law of correspondence to make this shit here. To make it properly. Just like making a cake. Making some ribs. Making whatever it is that you're making. You have to have proper ingredients. In that food. To make it come out what? Just right. And sometimes you might add a little bit in there. For your own ingredients. And motherfuckers taste that shit like. Who? How you do that? Like damn this is different than how I normally taste it. Be the magician. Be the scientist. And if it works, go with that shit. Y'all know how I do it over here. Come on, let's go. Y'all know how we do. I'm going to drop this gold nugget. I said, I got gold nuggets to drop. I got gold nuggets to drop. They dropping down. Whoever catch it, whoever get it, get it. Check it out. As you know. And if you don't know, you got to know today. Different spirits, they got different veves. What is a veve? Somebody said, Well, can you break that down for me? What is a veve? A veve is the personal symbol to contact a spirit. It's just like having a phone number. When I got your phone number, when I got your cell phone number, I can contact you. A veve is the spirit's personal. Phone number. A personal symbol. Check it out. So if I want to contact a spirit, I got to call them. I got to use this veve. So for example, I want to break this down. Overstand this. I want to break it down. People how, who know how to deal with these veves. People who are into art. Designing. Painters and shit. Check it out. They know this. They might take, I'm going to break it down. This is just an example. They might take Oshun's veve. Oshun is the goddess of love. And they would draw her veve on a piece of paper. And if they're looking to start a family, they might draw a picture of a happy man and so forth to represent a happy family. So by them drawing her veve, her personal symbol, her personal number, to contact her, that shows her, okay, somebody calling out to me. Somebody is trying to reach me. And the picture that you drew, as far as the happy family, it represents you wanting a woman in a family. So the more pictures that you draw on this paper, along with the veve, and the more pictures that you draw that's corresponding to what you want, the better she can overstand your desire. <laughs> oh, I hope you get that. I said, I hope you get that. Check it out. What can talismans be made on? They say, so, so, well, what can I put my talismans on? Most talismans are made on metal. And most talismans are made on paper. 
Okay? Know that. Honey, tells me can be made on anything. Because y'all know how so so madam do it. Honey, I am creative. I said I am creativity. I got a talesman on my motherfucker front door. You can put a talesman on your, your shoes, your car, your computer, your laptop, your personal microphone. If you a singer or a rapper or a poet, a MC, just make sure it corresponds with what you do. That's what I'm trying to teach y'all. Now, for example, don't draw no veve or no orisha or no deity of war. Don't draw a deity out, a deity veve of war when you're trying to get some love. Huh. You drawing a motherfucking the, the veve out of the deity of war. And you're trying to get love. That shit don't mix. It don't correspond. Huh. Shit, that ass fuck around and really know what Tamar Braxton meant when she sung that song, Love and War. Okay? Be a whole motherfucking bloodbath over there. Don't do that. Learn how, learn how to correspond this shit together. So you got to make sure you do it correctly. Okay? Put it together correctly. Makeup. When you think of makeup, what do you think? Lipstick. Lip gloss, eye shadow, shall I go on? Corresponding shit. Corresponded. We gonna get it tonight. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. So I say I wants to work with the Orisha Oya. This example right here. I say, say for instance, I want to work with the Orisha Oya. I want to work with her Veve. Okay, so I know it will be wise of me are witchly a me, catch that, to read up about Oya, to know what corresponds with her. Okay, so I done read about Oya, and I know one of her, her titles is she is the owner of the marketplace. Her colors are brown, burgundy, and she got some other colors, but just don't use black, because that is not one of her colors. I know that her number is the number nine. I know she likes sweet and dark color foods. So I, if I think she like dark and color foods, if I know she like these dark color foods, I get her some plums, some egg, some uh, eggplants, some red wine, some chocolate pudding. You think you get the point? I said you get it tonight. I said I'm gonna break it down. And I want to and I want to get this as a tip. Now, if y'all know how to cook, try to make some shit from scratch. Get a little extra points for your ass. OK. OK, so if I got a business and I want more customers coming through, I would draw her baby. I would draw a picture of a whole lot of happy ass motherfucking people shopping with their bags, smiles on their fucking faces. Honey, be the magician. Be the magician. D and I make a, a little altar space. I put her, her colors on there. I'm going to leave it right there. I said I'm going to leave it right there because I know you get the point. But you got to you gotta start being the magician. I said that little bit I just gave you right there was so much. Whew, somebody ought to learn something from that right there. I said somebody ought to learn something from this right here. Now I will be back. I'll be back with another video. I'm going to try to keep it coming. But y'all know I'm, I'm getting ready for classes. I'm getting things together on that. Then I got so much other things that I'm doing. So I'm trying to, you know, break it down as much as I can for y'all. And, you know, deliver it. But I want y'all to know. Be good. And she will be back.